Hi, welcome back to Inspire Random. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about fitness as a different topic. I have a friend who is kind of obese and he's planning on an upcoming trip to go around a few different countries because these few different places, different sceneries with different landscapes, upslopes, downslopes, and the fresh air would actually be conducive for getting the metabolism started up again. You know, and I suggested to him, you don't have to wait for your trip. You can actually start with like kettlebell swings. Kettlebell is a really effective exercise. I have two of them. You can just get hold of kettlebells in different sizes because they serve different purposes. For example, like I have this one here that's 24 kilo, and I have this one here that's actually 12 kilo. For example, the 24 kilo, I do the, the hip jerk exercise, and for the 12 kilo, I actually hold it and do some of my jumping plyometric exercises and uh, some core rotation exercise as well. Then the next point I want to cover is that if you want to have a maximum effect in, you know, in working out, it's, it's not necessarily about working long hours because a lot of people think that in order to burn a lot of calories, you need to work out for long periods of time and be on a treadmill. Fuck treadmills. I hate treadmills. Treadmills are the most stupid, uh, most boring and meaningless activity. It's not to say that uh, it doesn't work because there are people who have achieved great results of doing you know, a lot of time on a treadmill, but there are more efficient ways of doing so. And what if I could tell you that there's actually ways of losing weight way faster. I didn't always have my current physique, all right? I wasn't always able to jump up four or five steps on the staircase. I wasn't always able to sprint like a high school kid. Or faster but it's because in the beginning when I was working out getting back into fitness I, I actually experimented with an idea it was related to medicine all right most of medicines that you take the doctor will say what after your meal two or three times a day right so well, let's say like this particular medicine has an efficacy period of say four hours or six hours and every four to six hours you have to pop another pill for some of them it's like four to eight hours and exercise has the same effect but why do you have to take these medicines in space on such intervals so that you can have an encompassing effect on the whole day and if you did that with kettlebells all right you have an encompassing effect on your metabolism throughout the whole day does it make sense get yourself a kettlebell and do for a beginning five swings in the morning with a challenging weight. I think a challenging weight would be a third of your body weight. There are various ways of uh, determining the weight. You can check that online what kettlebell weight I should use. For example, I'm 70, 71 kilos, and the heavier one that I use for my hip jerk is 24 kilos. So do that like five to 10 times. So you do it five times, you do two sets in the morning. After work, you do it again. That's it. And then as you improve, you add on the number of reps and the number of sets. And what really happens is that you start to increase your capacity. Now, I want to go into the a next analogy. For those of you who follow me on TikTok as well and on Instagram, you may notice that I, I post videos of driving and driving, driving fast. Well, some of you say recklessly, but I call it fast. Here's the thing. I, like I also mentioned in my rec one of my recent videos, that on, on, also here on YouTube Shorts, that my car has over 400 horsepower, right? It's a modded F15 X5. My zero to 100 kilometer time is under five seconds. It, it goes like a rocket because of the amount of torque it has. In fact, I have to drive with traction control off almost all the time because if I had traction control on, uh, it would overload the, the sensor because there's gonna be so much wheel spin. So it's always wheel spin, my rear tires wear out quite fast. But the point I'm trying to make here is that when you have a fast vehicle, I don't know about you, but at least for me, all right, I, my, my petrol consumption, the reason why it goes up, uh, my car is tuned, yes, yeah, so if I drove it in a normal a sissy faggot way, it would be, you know, it would be more efficient than, than the, the normal, but because I, I drive it in, in a way that I feel that you just want to be more efficient on my time schedule, like if there are spaces ahead and uh, you know, I can just weave in and out of traffic, I would do that, right? So if you have a powerful vehicle, you, are, you have the ability to drive it in a more powerful way. If you have a powerful body, you would be able to use it in a more powerful way and therefore burning more calories, just like how I burn more 
in this case diesel because mine is a diesel powered car right if I drove it like what most people would, would, would drive you know half fast as if their car is half broken down it would, would be like about nine nine liters per hundred kilometers but the way I drive it it's usually about 14 liters per hundred kilometers when when you're fit you will live life in a more energy consuming way because it's just more exciting for example like the staircase rather than going up a step at a time I could be going up two or three steps at a time and sometimes <laughs> my daughter says don't embarrass me but uh, I, I actually you know at her at the at the kids school I do jump up the staircase four steps at a time and this you know, like you think about it it becomes a lifestyle so fitness becomes a lifestyle all right so what I wanted to mention is like, you know it's like having a fast car driving a fast car in a fast way becomes a lifestyle because you can all right and and fitness um, the best way to lose weight is to make fitness a lifestyle I have some TikTok videos I'll post the links in the video description of me doing some kettlebell exercise but you can find way more on the internet but you can you can uh, see what I started out with and you can also see that between then and now you know I'm way fitter than back then but you know, like I said it's once you get into groove to get into the groove of high-powered living right you would just be an energy consumption machine just like a high-powered teenager so the only difference really between an adult and a teenager is like, yes with age metabolism slows down but then also if you start living you know a sedentary adult yes definitely your your metabolism apart from the fact that it, it genetically goes down with age but you actually have the opportunity to maintain it why don't you? Does it make sense? Alright, so power is in your hands and I hope this video helps you out, gives you some insights on how to better live your life in a more fat burning way. Higher power, higher energy consumption and in a much richer, fulfilling, fitter looking life. I hope you like my content, so subscribe to my channel and leave a like to this video, leave some comments, let me know what you think.